the High Court's Punjab Order 1947 was passed. It led to the establishment of a new High Court for the territory which was then referred to as East Punjab. The High Court of East Punjab was situated in Shimla and functioned from a building called Peterhof. High Court of East Punjab, which later became the High Court of Punjab, exercised jurisdiction over Delhi via a circuit bench. Having regard to the population of Delhi and its status as the national capital, it was felt appropriate to establish a new High Court for the territory of Delhi. On 5th September 1966, the Delhi High Court Act was enacted. Section 31 of the Act empowered the Union Government to set up, through a notification in the official gazette, a new and exclusive High Court for the territory of Delhi by the appointed date of 31st October 1966. To begin with, the Delhi High Court has exercised jurisdiction not only over Delhi but also Himachal Pradesh. In a reversal of fortunes, the Delhi High Court had a bench in Shimla located in a building called Raven Suit. This continued until the enactment of the State of Himachal Pradesh Act 1970, which came into force on 25th January 1971. The first court of Delhi High Court comprised Chief Justice K. S. Hegde and three other eminent judges, Justice I. D. Dua, H. R. Khanna, and S. K. Kapoor. They all made stellar contribution to the cause of justice. Three of them also adorned the bench in the Supreme Court. From a modest beginning, the Del Delhi High Court today has a sanctioned strength of 60 judges comprising 45 permanent judges and 15 additional judges. It has supervisory jurisdiction over six district courts and exercises its jurisdiction over 11 districts. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to note that the theme of the Delhi High Court's Golden Jubilee celebration is justice for all. This phrase, to my mind, implies empowerment of the weak and equal treatment of law, irrespective of one's individual identity. India is a vast country, country of 1.3 billion people, belonging to three distinguished ethnic groups, Caucasian, Dravidian, and Mongolite, speaking 122 languages and 1,600 dialects, professing seven faiths. Our country has thrived due to its power of assimilation and tolerance. Our pluralistic character has stood the test of time. Our ancient civilization has over the centuries accommodated our diversities. Multiplicity is our collective strength which must be preserved at all costs. It finds reflection in the various provisions of our constitution. Judiciary which is one of the three important pillars of our democracy, is the final interpreter of the Constitution and laws. It must help maintain social order by swiftly and effectively dealing with those on the wrong side of the law. As an upholder of the rule of law and enforcer, of the right to liberty, the role of judiciary is sacrosanct. 